Hi guys, we're at our home studio and we want to take you with us on our first day at Beaches Turks and Caicos. We're going to show you the one thing you need to do to have a smooth first day, the beach at night, and one of the shows by the pool. So come along and dream big with us. So when we arrived to Turks and Caicos, uh, we did not realize how crowded it was going to be. We were actually uh, made to stay on the plane for probably like 15 minutes um, and we were let off in sections where we went into customs only to see the craziest line ever and we ended up spending three hours waiting for customs. So we tell you that because they do have a fast track option and I would have at that moment with our 10 year old daughter standing for three hours paid anything to get out of that line. So um, a lot of other people were uh, waiting four hours, three hours. That wasn't uncommon, especially for the popular travel day. There's just a lot of pent up travel demand. So yeah, we, so we from what it. from what I saw on some Facebook groups that I'm in, people were saying if you arrive between Thursday and Sunday, you really need the fast track. The other day, I would just get the fast track no matter what day, just because you don't know, it, you could be through in 30 minutes through the customs or you could be through in four hours like some people were yeah. uh it was it really made the the first day long especially if your flight's long on top of it yeah and we weren't allowed to record in there so we don't have any footage from in there so once we got through customs we uh go outside for transportation so for beaches there's um included transfers and we got in a van and it was like a 10 15 minute drive maybe yeah, so very drive. quick um, to get to a resort, and then we were with a cool towel to put on our neck and cool off. Yeah, that felt good. Um, they greeted good. us right as we came out of the van and escorted us into the concierge lounge because we had a concierge room. Um, it was really pretty on the inside. They greeted us with, what, rum punch? Right? Rum punch, non-alcoholic for the kiddo, and extra rum for the adults. Yeah, and Katie's had only rum, apparently. <laughs> There's watermelon, fruit, and sandwiches. And they have a little kids area right here. Holland is enjoying the little chair and the cartoon. So we got all checked in and Ronaldo took us over to our room. Ronaldo was really friendly. We were very happy with him taking us up to our room and showing us around. I want to welcome you to our Italian Ocean View Concierge Family Suite with Kids Room abbreviated as the T2. Holland is so excited because she has her own room with bunk beds. And down below it has the pull out trundle. Very pretty and her own TV. Her own vanity. And her own closet. And we have a pocket door, so privacy for mom and dad. Okay, so interesting feature. In order to make your room lights work, you have to put a room key in this little spot right here. So look, if I take it out, all the lights ah. go out. Put it in, all the lights come in, and then you have switches to turn everything on. But without the room key in, the lights will not come on. So there are connecting doors if you needed to you know, ha travel in a group and wanted connecting rooms. This is the bathroom. And this beautiful garden tub. Really pretty marble. And then you have your separate shower, with the rain head. And the water closet, separate. Over here, the main closet with your robes, and you can request a mid size robe for the kiddos. Over here, we have your mini bar with a microwave. So you can get takeout at the restaurants here. 
with the exception of soy because that's like raw sushi um, in your mini fridge, which is actually stocked with your mixers. And we had them um, stock some beverages as well. So we have some champagne in there. We were able to choose what we wanted stocked. Our TV, some fresh fruit. Our king bed with the four posters. Towel art. <laughs> and then it's actually about dusk right now, but check out this incredible view. So we actually have a pool and an ocean view. This pool stays open 24 hours. Colin is very excited about that. And then if you look over there, you can see the ocean. So far, we are really impressed. All right, Helen, who are you taking to dinner? Landon and Harper. Are they best friends? They're siblings, Dad. Oh. We were starving, so we headed to the closest restaurant, which was Barefoot by the Sea. It's a pretty cute little restaurant in the sand. It has these little picnic tables for the kids next to the big picnic tables for the adults. And Holland brought her babies and shared her little table with the babies. And we enjoyed our dinner together at our own table. The menu had a lot of seafood options. I had to pick between snapper and mahi mahi. And I always, well, almost always choose snapper. So that's what I got. Katie got the surf and turf. And my favorite thing of the night, I think, was the conch fritters, the appetizer. I'd never had conch before, and that was delicious. Conch, <laughs> conch, 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 conch. <laughs> we also had the coconut crusted shrimp for an appetizer, and then we ordered all the desserts. Yeah, and the key lime pie was the best dessert. We both thought that was the best dessert. We really enjoyed our dinner together, and Holland really enjoyed playing in the sand. Hello. What are you making? A sand castle. If you dig deep enough in this sand, you can get some lovely shapeable sand. But you gotta dig very deep. And then after dinner, we headed to the beach. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> the beach is beautiful at night and there's also an incredible city view. After the beach, we headed down to the Italian pool for some entertainment. So Sandals and Beaches Resorts have nightly entertainment and this resort has entertainment each night, typically in the French village, but this night it was at the Italian pool and they actually had a floating stage for part of it where the entertainment was on the water. It was really neat because the kids couldn't be in the pool but they could be in the big hot tub so kids, parents, whoever could watch the show from the hot tub or the side of the pool. The show had fire performers, dancers, singers, and we got to see some beloved Sesame Street characters towards the end. After the show, we swam while I got in the hot tub and Jeff and Holland got in the pool to swim. Uh, after we swam a little bit, we headed over to Bobby D's, which is open for late night snacks. And I had the chicken wings. I had a Philly cheesesteak that was really good. Holland had a grilled cheese and the french fries there were, were awesome. Um, they also had a little ice cream station on the side and the ice cream was really good too. Yeah, so it was nice to have something to eat late at night if you get hungry. And then after that, we were so exhausted from a full day of travel that we went to bed. That's day one, but don't miss out on day two. As you'll see a snorkel, Holland builds a Build-A-Bear. We eat at Sky and Katie dances with Beyonce. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for future travel tips and videos. And as always, we want you to keep dreaming big.